Hey guys, welcome to the video today. In today's video, we are going to check out this wall stud finder. So this is the most popular one I could find on Amazon. It had like 20 some thousand reviews. Uh, looks like it's the most purchased one. So let's get it out of the box here and see what's inside and we'll test it out and see how well it works. All right guys, so let's take a look inside here and here it is. This is made by Tavool, um, you know, and a pretty pretty good size uh, stud finder there you know I've had a, a, like a craftsman one in the past that was pretty small but uh, this one's pretty good size so um, let's see here does it come with batteries no it doesn't it needs a 9 volt battery so let me go find one of those and I'll be right back Alright guys, even though this is the next clip for you, this is days later in the video. So don't be like me. Make sure that you either have a 9 volt battery on hand ahead of time or that you order a 9 volt battery when you order the stud finder. And these here are the instructions and make sure that you read through them and understand them completely before you ever use the stud finder. They will tell you everything you need to know on how to use the stud finder both safely and properly. Okay, let me install the 9 volt battery and I'll be back and we'll get a closer look at the Tavool stud finder. All right guys, so there are different modes and the one that we're looking at now is the stud mode indicator and the instructions say use the stud scan mode to find the center and edges of wood or metal studs up to three quarter inches or 19 millimeters deep. For best results, always start in this mode when looking for studs. Okay, this next mode here is called the stud deep mode indicator and the instructions say deep scan mode doubles the scanning depth of wood stud and metal stud to 1.5 inches or 38 millimeters deep and allows for increased accuracy on deeper targets. Okay, this next mode is called the metal mode indicator and the instructions say use this mode to locate metal material and avoid hazards such as pipes behind wall up to 2.36 inches. Metal scan mode has a maximum metal sensitivity and is ideal for quickly finding the approximate location of metal. However, sensitivity can be reduced by calibrating the tool closer to metal. For maximum metal sensitivity, calibrate it in the air by pressing and holding the scan button. Alright guys, so this is called the AC indicator mode and the instructions say AC wire mode finds live unshielded electrical wires up to 2 inches or 51 millimeters deep. It works by sensing magnetic field changes of live AC wire. Um, it looks like they had some issues in their uh, instructions here. The next sentence. It says, it indicator where the AC wire is. It looks like just some typos. So I think what it's saying is it indicates where the AC wire is, but not the exact center. And it needed to calibrate in the air too. Um, okay, so now that we've been through all the different modes, let's go try the tool out and see how well it works. All right, guys, so we're just looking at some drywall in the garage, and there should be a stud right about here. And what we need to do with the stud finder is to calibrate it. So I'm going to put it into a stud mode indicator, and then we calibrate it just by putting it flat against the wall. And there's a button on the side of the stud finder. So we want to put it flat against the wall and then just press that button and allow it to calibrate. And then once it calibrates, we're going to slowly move it across the wall. And as we get closer to the stud, you see how that line just popped up there? So we know we're at the, this side of the stud and you could mark it with a pencil up here. Um, so you know where this side of the stud is. If we keep going, we know we're at the center of the stud now. And then if we keep going more, here's the other side of the stud. So, you know, you could mark uh, the sides of the stud with a pencil and then the center of the stud with a pencil as well. And then as we keep going, it just disappears. So, um, yeah, this is, uh, you know, works really well. And I like that it shows you the sides of the stud and the center of the stud. So if you wanted to mark the center of the stud, you could just put your pencil up there and mark it. And shows you, you know, both sides of the stud. So... All right, guys, so we're still in stud mode indicator, and um, since I've moved the stud finder, we need to recalibrate it, so I'm going to do that now. 
and there it goes it's recalibrated and i wanted to show you guys this this triangle that popped up here in the top left corner um, that's the indicator called the ac wire warning letting you know that you're close to an ac wire okay um, let's go ahead and test out the ac mode indicator okay let's test the ac mode indicator we need to calibrate the stud finder so um, I'm going to put the stud finder against the wall and then press the button on the side and allow it to calibrate. We just heard the beep, so it's calibrated, and we'll start moving it towards the electrical outlet and see if it notifies us. There we go, we got an indication. Okay. All right, guys. Well, that was it. The Tavool Stud Finder, and I like it. It's a nice stud finder. You know, I used to have a Craftsman, and I don't have it anymore, but it was a lot smaller than this stud finder. So that was one of the things I noticed about the Tavool Stud Finder is it was just larger than I was expecting it to be. Um, but, you know, it did what we needed it to do. It found the stud, and I like that, um, you know, it showed the sides of the stud and the center of the stud. You know, it's a, it's a nice stud finder. And it has a lot of different options on it, the different modes. So make sure that you read through the instructions and understand them completely before you do use the stud finder. There's a lot of information in there, and you want to make sure that you understand it so uh, you can use the tool both safely and properly. One of the things I noticed too is while I was using the stud finder, if I had my hands anywhere near the top of the stud finder, I'd get a false reading letting me know there was a stud uh, where there was not a stud. So I, I had to keep my hand towards the bottom uh, when I moved the stud finder around back and forth. Um, and if I moved my hand up at all, like, you know, if I was helping to guide it or something like that, um, I would get the false reading on the stud finder. So just in case you guys are having that same issue. So, all right, guys. So an example of what I was just talking about, like if I was to put my hand up here to help assist in moving the stud finder along, um, you can see that we're getting a false reading. And then as soon as I take my hand away, the false reading goes away. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and if you have the time, check out these other great videos.